Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This song patch has piano, pads, strings, arps, and bass all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here, up to here. There's a piano sound from this note all the way up the rest of the keys. Although in this upper octave, you'll have some other sounds layered on top. And those will turn to synth sounds as you increase the song section control. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, down verse, turnaround, interlude, down bridge, and outro. At one third will be the down chorus, medium verse, and medium bridge. At two thirds will be the medium chorus and a big bridge. And all the way up will be the big chorus. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and a lead line in your right hand. Here's what that sounds like. Here it is with both hands. This part comes back later in the song as the turnaround and the outro. For the turnaround, you'll play everything the exact same way. And then for the outro, you'll again play everything the same way, but you'll play it through four times total. So I like to slowly get quieter with my notes as we go through the outro for that part. For the down verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. I usually like to keep my chords down lower, like this. For the medium verse, you'll have the song section control at one third. For this one, you'll just place single notes in the lowest octave of your left hand range and those same chords in your right hand. For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. I usually like to play the full chords and bring up my inversions, so I play them up here. Mm -hmm. 
Then for the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at two thirds and you'll play everything the same way. Then for the big chorus towards the end of the song, you'll increase the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in your left hand and this time you're going to play a synth lead up high in your right hand. Here's what this part will sound like. Here it is with both hands. Then this big chorus is a double chorus, so you'll play it two times through total. For the interlude and bridge, you'll start with the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a piano riff in your right hand. Here's what that riff sounds like. So here it is with both hands. So you'll play two times through that chord progression for the interlude, then for the down bridge you'll play four times through that chord progression, then you'll move the song section control to one third for the medium bridge and play everything the same way, then you'll move it to two thirds for the big bridge and again you'll play everything the same way.
At the very end of the song, there is a refrain that is optional. Depending on how your band decides to play this part, you may choose to not have it in or to play it. If you'd like to play this part, you can play single notes in the lowest octave of your left hand range to play those chords that have pads layered underneath them. That's what I like to do. You'll want to make sure that you have your song section control all the way back down. Or if you just want to have piano, you can always play those notes up in the upper left hand range. There's no chords triggered in this area, it's just single notes. And then that's true all the way up until this note. So if you decide you just want to play piano, you can play that in this area. Or if you want to go a cappella, you can play nothing at all. Just depends on how your band decides to play this part of the song. Be sure to watch the full demo video to see all these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds and I'll see you next time.